We were really surprised how packed it was. A slow rebound to air travel has airlines and airports flying solo, trying to institute individual policies to keep passengers safe. I've seen people in full hazmat suits. The TSA reporting more than 600,000 passengers Monday, the highest number since March 19th. At Los Angeles International, new technology is watching passengers for a temperature, but those hotter than 100 degrees won't be barred from traveling, only reminded of the dangers and told they shouldn't. It's indicative of a larger problem, no national standards for safe travel during the coronavirus. When you are dealing with something like a pandemic um, or communicable disease threat, communication and coordination, there's just a lot of entities involved and that's an, a, an essential piece. Heather Krause works for the Government Accountability Office, a watchdog urging the Department of Transportation to make a plan. We do see an opportunity in terms of not just the current pandemic, but thinking ahead. In 2015, her office recommended DOT put together a pandemic response plan for a scenario exactly like this. How these different entities might respond, the types of communication mechanisms that they would have to respond, um, some clarity around roles and responsibilities. DOT never made that plan. Now, as travel bounces back while cases climb again, airlines and airports are the ones making the rules. U.S.-based airlines are requiring face masks to board, but as Newsy previously reported, flight attendants at American Airlines were being told once on board they could not make a passenger wear a mask because there's no government mandate. Now, weeks later, a new trend, airlines banning passengers who refuse. This is not a thing. I don't have to do this. Conservative activist Brandon Straka was kicked off an American Airlines flight June 17th. This is insane. Absolutely insane. So it's, we don't even have a choice anymore. The airline says it won't allow him back on its planes until it stops requiring face masks. Now, seven U.S. carriers say if a passenger won't wear a mask, they might ban that person from its flights. For most Americans, that won't be an issue. A new Pew Research survey found 80 percent of U.S. adults said they're wearing masks all or some of the time. Protect yourself, but more so protect others by wearing your mask. But it's just one piece of a complex puzzle to keep air travelers safe in a pandemic. And there's no national standard directing them. It's not a short term. It's going to go on. James Packard, Newsy, Chicago.